solidly swear, solidly swear to objectively and subjectively, to objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat, each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a Pigmania Lima Barbecue Contest. Judge. So that truth, so the truth justice, justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. Uh, I like to, this one right here, number one first. And, um, oh, it was it was cooked to perfection. It's a little bit saucy, but I liked it. It had a little bit of spice in it. That's what I liked, but I could also taste the smoke. I also like number three. That was my probably my second favorite here, the third one you see there. Um, it, too, was well done and wasn't too mushy, wasn't too, you know, overdone, wasn't too dry, and had put spices. Some of them are just a bit too saucy for me. Um, number one, uh, I had a hard, it, it was good, they all were very good, um, but I had a hard time biting through the skin in number one. Uh, number two, it was a little bit dry in the middle, but it had a very good taste. Um, number three, and same, the um, skin was hard to bite through, as well as number four. Um, Number five, um, it was dry, um, but it had that uh, crispy taste, and that was a great piece. And number six, it was a little bit hot. Well, my favorite was the second one, uh, very juicy, not too much sauce. Uh, my piece was cooked to perfection. Uh, my least favorite was the fourth entry. Uh, it was exceedingly dry. Uh, it looked like it would have had a lot of flavor, but it was actually pr pretty bland. Uh, the fifth one, which looked burnt up, actually had tremendous flavor and was a little dry, but uh, it actually had very good flavor. It's all pretty good. The first one was a little too sweet for me, but it was an excellent entry. Uh, pretty good chicken. The uh, sixth one was a little peppery. I think they're all pretty good. I thought several were slightly overcooked. I found it interesting that five seemed to be a boneless or deboned. My favorite, however, was six, kind of going against what the other folks are saying. I did like that peppery flavor, and I did like uh, uh, the taste introduction and also the taper in as well. Uh, my favorite also was number six. In fact, it was, again, the appearance was excellent. It was juicy, good texture. I did like the smoky, uh, peppery, uh, flavor that came with it. A very close second was number one. Again, number one again was very juicy, good, good tenderness, good appearance. Um, again, a little bit on the, on the bland side. Uh, some of the other ones that were um, that graded a little bit lower were certainly were uh, number four, number five were again overcooked as already stated. A little bit on the uh, overdone side, a little bit chewy, a little bit chalky. 
uh, but certainly um, it was, really was a very good plate. Uh, but certainly number six and number one were certainly the best on the plate here today. I enjoyed number one. I thought it was cooked to perfection. It tasted really good. And my least was number five. I thought it was a little overdone and a little dry. Sample number one was extremely dry and very tough. Um, probably I felt the best one for flavor and all overall tenderness was number three. Uh, rib number one was extremely terrible. It was dry, burnt, bland, no flavor to it, and the rest of them weren't much better. Uh, my least favorite was uh, was rib number one. Also, it was uh, it was uh, dry. Um, it uh, it it had a very extremely hard tug on it, where you couldn't get a clean bite off of it. Plus, it didn't look like it had been trimmed at all. So, um, I just looked like it. The the cook took very little effort with that one. My f most favorite one, I think, was. Uh, was number five. It uh, it had a good flavor, and it was uh, to me the uh, tenderness on it was just right. The entry that um, I scored the highest was number five because it was uh, um, had good flavor. The meat was still moist, but it came off the bone cleanly. The entry that I gave the lowest score to was entry number one uh, because it was. Uh, you couldn't even really bite through it whatsoever at all. So number two was my favorite, and then number six was probably the least favorite. Uh, just the flavor was off on that, and uh, number two was just tender and way I like. Number two was the best one on the plate as far overall, and number four, number six was uh, the taste and the texture was not where it's supposed to be at all. <laughs> Uh, number one was extremely tough. Number two had good flavor. It was pretty fair. Number three was, uh, it had no absolutely no taste to it, and it was just tougher than heck. Number four I thought was uh, very good. Tender, good flavor. Number five was oh, way overdone. And it was, uh, the flavor was pretty decent though. Number six was, had a fair taste, but it was extremely tough. My favorite was number two. It was, had good flavor, had good texture to it. <clears throat> My worst was number one. It was dry, little flavor, and uh, that's it. I thought number two was very, very good. Tender, tasted good. Number one was tough. Number three had no flavor. Number four was mediocre. Number five was okay. Number six was dry. Uh, number one, or number two would be the my favorite had good texture, taste. Uh, number six would be the least favorite. It was dry and just in big old chunks. Mm -hmm.
favorite was my favorite was number one and number four I thought uh, very tender very good flavor to it my least favorite was number two it was dry and very very chewy all the other other ones were, were average my favorites were number one and number four also with number six being with no taste and uh, very fatty My favorites were one and five. My least favorite was number two. Number two was very difficult to uh, to chew, and it did not pull apart at all. Um, I have to go along with uh, many of my table mates in saying one and four were very tasty, had a nice appearance. Uh, number six had a... Um, contingency it tasted a little bit like beef jerky so it's a bit disappointing my least favorite was number two which was very tough and not a lot of taste to it and my favorite was number four which had a good flavor and uh, a nice tenderness number one and number four was uh, my favorite um, it had great um, flavor as well as um, good tenderness during the pull test. Um, my least favorite was uh, entry number two. Um, had very bland flavor and um, the, the pull test was a lot of, um, pretty tough.